you guys well, inshallah. As you guys know, reputation is in my religion. And what's there to be refuted by, by uh, one of your teachers. Uh, so, <clears throat> just to clarify myself. So I was in a discussion with a sister in hijab. We had some feminist ideologies. Uh, and as you know, Sheikh Qutam al I wear these uh, sunglasses. Uh, so I was in a discussion and then I noticed the sun is going down in of course. And I realized I have to pray Asr, which is caught on camera by the way. So um, I came. But obviously it was still a bit late, delaying. So number one, please remind us when it comes to this issue, delaying so specifically us. So this is reputation to me, by the way. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa rahmatullah. Before, before I start, first of all, as Muslims, as believers in Allah wa ta'ala, that the second pillar of Islam, the very second pillar of Islam, that the prayer, the five day of prayer. And the Prophet وسلم, he said, What is the best of Iman? Yeah? And then he said, he said, What's the most thing dear to Allah? The most dear things to Allah? Even struggling for the sake of Allah is below someone listening to going, going to fight for the sake of the Islam, yet. It's not as important as to pray on time. And yet, you see some brothers, I'm not saying, you are a brother. Yes, you might sometimes be in, uh, uh, you might sometimes be, you, 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 have, you have a conversation, something important. But no, how, how, and even though still, the Prophet وسلم, in the battlefield, alayhi salatu wasalam, he would pray, sallallahu alayhi wasalam. There's no excuse. He, alayhi salatu wasalam, he will, that they will stand in row, and then you will find people facing the army, the, the opposite army, and yet, and the, and the Muslims, they, some of them, part of them, they pray, and part of them, they're facing the army in order to defend them. My point is, I came in, and you're giving da'wah, like other brothers, and I see, subhanallah, and you name yourself Ali Da'wah, that's one of, uh, you put yourself this title, which is, I don't know, the, the irony again. And then, and I came to you while I see the sun is sitting, and then you pray. I, I thought you pray, are you praying Maghrib, or you thought Maghrib, you were in grass, you don't know what, what type of Maghrib. Yeah. And that is here, you prayed Asr. Yeah. And you pray Asr this time. And remind you the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, Salatul Munafiq, about the, the prayer of the hypocrite. I'm not saying you're a hypocrite, no, but I'm saying that this is the prayer of the Munafiq. He said he will wait until with the sun set between the two horns of the shaitan, or the two sides of the head of the shaitan. And then he will go, he will knock it quickly, and لا يذكر الله إلا قليل doesn't remember Allah except little and I'm saying yes maybe it's important to discuss with people and all of these things but at the same time this is Salat al-Asr the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to remind you and remind myself and everyone he alayhi salatu wa in the battle of Khaybar can you imagine the battle of Khaybar that the people that Allah described them is the most the fear the, the Muslim they were in, in the most significant fear in, in their hearts and Allah says even وَبِلَغَتُ الْقُلُوبُ الْحَنَاجِرِ that the hearts like, literally reach, reach the throat yeah. this is how much they were terrified yeah and yet, when they were delayed from Salat al-Asr, what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, شَغَلُونَ عَنَ الصَّلَاةِ الْوُسْطَى They made us busy from the middle Salah. مَلَأَ اللَّهُ مَلَأَ اللَّهُ بِيُوتًا May Allah fill their, their, their houses and their graves with fire. The Prophet said, making dua against them. Can you imagine? Why? Because they delayed the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam praying Salat al-Asr. So that's why here, and you are involved in Da'wah and other brothers. SubhanAllah, I know it's important, but I ask you this question. You said to me, you have this discussion with a sister. What about before it? What about before it? What about you have you have to, nearly two hours, and we and you know no, you I lost, should know. I lost track of time. Then then put a, put alarm on your phone. No 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 no, no, no problem. I'm just saying I lost put alarm your, put alarm on your phone. This is my time of the prayer, and this is a reminder for for and for everyone who is busy. And because the times are very close as well. The time is in the winter, especially in the northern area, in the northern part of the of the yes. of the of the earth, yeah. you'll find that Dhuhr and Asr Maghrib is naturally attached to each other. Exactly. So that's why if you delay it, you are delaying it beyond its time. And then you're, you're failing to sin. So that's why you don't do that. We are Muslims. Allah, Allah made it obligation upon us to pray five times a day. You may join the prayer if there is a need or if there is a necessity or if there is some situation, then to join Dhuhr and Asr. But not to delay it until just before Maghrib. Yes, on, on, on purpose. If you lost track of time, and what else are the excuses? Sleep? Yeah, no, no, one second. If you forget, yes. and I don't think you forget. Losing track of time. Now, lose track of that's something else. You know, in your mind, there is the prayer. No, no, no. I mean, I'm in a discussion. I literally lost track of time. So then someone reminded you. Yeah, you do something. Remind so, yourself. Should someone still pray? Because some people might say, oh, I shouldn't. You yeah, still say, have to pray. Yeah, you still have to say, uh, say you know what? I need to yes. pray. It's yes. more important. Yes. And, and I will tell you something. 
the people they don't understand, they don't appreciate these small things. Wallahi, our success as Muslims through these small things that we do, fulfilling it. Like for example, in the Battle of Qadisiyah, the Battle of Qadisiyah during the time of Uthman radiallahu, he sent the army. He sent the army. They were they were fighting the Persian, etc. They were. It's a huge thing. Yes. Yeah, it's a big thing. Yeah, very big. Yes. Yeah. And what happened in the time of Uthman radiallahu? When he sent the army and, and fighting, yeah. what do you think his khutbah in the masjid? People they think because the people they say yeah. he should talk khutbah about yeah. what's happening yeah. to encourage the people to help the Muslim to help the army, etc. His khutbah. He brought a jug of water, yeah. teaching the people the wudu of the Prophet That's what success is. So he, radiallahu and the Sahaba, understood that the success lies under what? Under following the commandments of Allah It's there. So that's why these small things, you pray on time, you do what Allah commanded you to be good to your parents. That's the main thing. A man came to, uh, a man who has killed, uh, uh, who has killed someone, came to Abdullah ibn, 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 ibn Abbas, or Abdullah ibn Amrun, of the companions, and Adam ibn Ufrad, that hadith, as far as Abdullah ibn Abbas, or Abdullah ibn Abbas, Allah alam. By the way, the point is, he came to him, and he said to him, I have killed such and such, what should I do? Is there a way to repent? He said, is your mother alive? And then he said, no. Then he said, go and repent. And then the people asked him, they said to him, Okay, why, why, what, what is the significance about the mother? He said, I don't know nothing in Islam. No good deeds, no righteous deeds in Islam, better than being good to the mother. There is nothing better than that. After Tawheed and after oneness of Allah, there is nothing better than being good to the mother. So that's why you will find someone who is, I am practicing Muslim, mashallah, a brother with big beard and a sister with niqab, and on top of that, they are rude to their parents. And I saw this, I saw this, I saw, I saw this. And I saw, and I saw even, even I was contacted by mothers and by fathers who their, their children are practicing. I'm not talking about practice, I'm talking practicing. Yes, yes, yes. Practicing, someone who prays five times a day, a brother who goes to the masjid, tries to pray in the masjid, Salat al-Fajr and all the Salat, and his father is crying, crying because of his, his attitude. And I know the Qabi sister who is practicing sister. Yeah. And then on top of that, when, and his, her mother calling me, yeah. how rude she, and she is dealing with her in a rude, in a rude manner. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that. I'm saying, yes, we have to represent Islam, not just only with our appearance, which is important, but as well, our, our efforts and our deeds has to be according to Islam, to pray on time, to be good, and to represent Islam in every single thing that you do. So this specific video we're doing is because there's forbidden times. So the Asr falls in the like, If it was Dhuhr, and I prayed, let's say, 15, 20 minutes before it, it's not that. It's That's not fine. That. That's fine. fine. But because of this forbidden time, so can you mention the forbidden times? One is for Asr, one is um, after Fajr. Yes. Uh, one is uh, the peak of the sun. Yes. Um, I think the three? Yeah. Now, the, now we know that in, uh, generally there is the, the general prohibitions, which is to delay, to pray the voluntary prayer yes. during three times. Yes. Firstly, uh, this is after Fajr, or which is after the dawn, the until, and when the sun starts rising, this is from that time until the sun totally risen, which is half an hour after the sunrise, mm -hmm. or 40 minutes after the sunrise, this is prohibited to pray. Yeah. And as well, in the peak of the, of the noon time, which is when the time of the zenith, they call it. In the peak yeah. of the noon, that's the prohibited time. Yeah. And when the sun is setting. Yes. But there is some significance as well, related to Salat al-Asr. The Prophet Sallallahu he said the time of Salat al-Asr, which is from the, from basically from the end of Salat al-Dhuhr, yeah. start all the way until when the shadow of the object is equivalent to twice as the shadow of the object. When is that? So for example... This is just before when the sun changed into orange color. Just before, not okay. this time, just earlier, when you were afraid. Okay. Just, that's the end of it. This, uh, this is the best time. Okay. Now, if you delay it when the sun, when the sun changes into this orange, which is just before the sunset, you see the sun is sitting. You could, you could stare at the sun directly. Yeah. yeah? This is the... There is prohibition to delay Salat al-Asr until that time. Okay. Now, the scholars of some they said, still your prayer is valid. Of course, yeah, yeah. But you are sinful for delaying it if you deliberately did it. Yes, deliberately, yes. Yeah? If you deliberately did it, then you are sinful for delaying it at that time. So pray before it. Yeah? Before, before uh, meaning when the sun is high, yes. then you pray. Then you pray Salat al-Asr, and especially Salat al-Asr. Yes. That Allah says in the Quran, وَحَفْظُ عَلَى الصَّلَاةِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَالصَّلَاةِ الْوُسْطَى Mean taking take care of your prayers. And especially the middle prayer. And the middle prayer is the Asr prayer. It's important. So that's why if we want the success in this dunya, in our efforts, in everything that we do, and if we want the, the, the salvation and the success in the hereafter, it is through this. Through doing the, the basic things of Islam. Tawheed, oneness of Allah, praying on time, being good to the parents, doing what Allah has made it obligation unto us.
this was a live reputation of Ali Dawa. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> Ali <laughs> needs Dawa, uh, like my yeah. friends say. And I hope you guys benefited and learned something. Uh, brothers, alhamdulillah. Uh, even though mine was not intentional, but still, I should track have alarms the times are close. So, inshallah, it was a reminder for you guys, inshallah. And hope you guys benefit from this. Uh, for more reputation from the teacher, inshallah. If you catch me slipping, you know where to come. Uh, till next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And as well, the last thing as well. You are, Whip, we, yeah, there is uh, the last thing that especially those who call themselves public figures, yeah, their mistakes are not uh, the mistakes as the others. This is a very good point because that's why it's Surah Abbasah, when the Prophet yeah. Sallam, Allah, when he frowned, he yeah. the message of Allah. Like, yeah. So it's not for, it doesn't befit yeah. you. So people, they will say, okay, what's, what's the problem? Yeah. He does it or that does it. Right, so when you, are, when you put yourself in a, as a public figure, that you have extra responsibility. Because people, yeah, yeah, people, they, they, they will see you as an example. And that's why it's uh, it's important for us, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Allah barakatuh. Ma'alawad. Jazakallah. Salam